Hey folks, Nas here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our one day hard mode challenge series. So in the last episode, we ended up getting the, um, what was it? The Angler Without a Cause uh, story portion of the Unigost story, uh, where we ended up having to go talk to Ida. However, I didn't read the directions and I ended up thinking that we had to go buy him um, a crossbow instead of having to go back to Ida, who we ended up having to get, um, I think it was, it was some kind of a tool or something for Unigost to where she had this real riddle kind of a quest that we had to, to solve to get his stuff back. Otherwise we had to pay. Of course, I ended up paying anyway. It just my money went to the uh, the Wagoneer because I took the Wagoneer over to Lesnica thinking I had to go and buy um, a crossbow for Dom. But uh, I ended up coming back, chopping down some trees and stuff. So I got a few logs on me. Let's check our uh, management screen here. So we got enough firewood to meet our demand for today. Uh, and it'll spill over a little bit into tomorrow. Let's call Miss Donkey over. I don't remember if I had any logs uh, in her inventory or not, but let's go ahead and drop these 20 logs here. Let's check our feather stick supply uh, because we do have to go pay our taxes. Uh, we got 116 feathers. I mean, it's a few. It's not a great deal. Uh, let's see. Cancel that out for a second. 53 here. Let's drop those in. Let's drop the sticks in. Uh, let's grab 160 of the feathers. 160 feathers. And then we'll grab 160 sticks. Should be fine. At least that way we can make a, a little bit of coin today. Uh, let's see. Leather... Where's the leather? We got 230 leather. Let's grab, uh, what, 120. Let's make some bags out of that. Uh, since we do have to go and pay the taxes. What am I looking for? There it is. And bags. Make 40 bags. So that'll make us a little bit of coin today. You can see there in the top right uh, that our taxes are 2740.4 coins. And unfortunately, we, I screwed up and forgot to pay my taxes last year and the, the previous spring. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Let's go and harvest uh, the crops here before we leave. And then that way, when I get back this evening, all I have to do is plant. So let's, uh, let's get that. Oh, I have a bucket on me that I don't need. I need to go make those uh, bolts. Tools, scythe, five. All right, let's go through and gather up this rye real quick. Kind of do some of our morning chores. We need to check our um, traps as well. May have to remake some. I think I remember there was a few of them that were just about broken. So we'll go do that as well. So let me finish gathering this stuff and go thresh. And then we'll check traps and make bolts. Where she's headed off to. Uh, we don't have any family quests. So there's my boy walking off over there by the orchard. And my wife appears to be in the hunting lodge. Neither one of them have any family quests uh, this season. So, we don't have to worry about that. There we go. Put that in there. Do we have any rye in here? No. Let's go thresh and get some rye seed so I can put rye seed in that little basket so we always have some in there. Oops. I I slid past the thresher here. 175 is what that's going to give me. That's going to be nice. We also need to look at gathering uh, more logs. That way we can upgrade our resource storage. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. 
because we unlocked the resource storage too. So it'd be nice to upgrade that. That would increase our uh, kilograms uh, limit as well. Uh, what am I putting in here? This. Putting that in there. Uh, I want to put... What's that going to be? 145 of the grain in here. And then the last 30 is going to go in the basket. Is that right? Yeah. Yay, I did math right. Uh, let's see. What is the food situation looking like today? We got plenty of food for the demand. I need to check the meals, though. Uh, but let's make these bolts before I forget, because I will. Right there. 160 bolts coming up. I almost forgot I can have my wife actually pay the taxes. We should probably just go ahead and do that. Then we don't have to worry about going to Gustovia. Is she, is she in here? There you are, honey. How can I help you? You can do a favor for me. And can you take this money to the Castilian? The, the Castilian. <laughs> let, me, let me run some words together there. All right, there we go. She paid that. Good. Uh, be well, my love. Day. Taxes are paid. We did not fail that one this season. You guys are hard at work. Are you guys missing? We're having a production thing here. Let's see. Uh, what are, oddly enough, they don't have any warnings. Do they have, because they're gathering that. Apparently they do have a knife. Good. What are my issues here? Yeah, see, there's no assignments for the barn, but there's nobody occupying the barn. So I, I don't think that this should be a warning at all. I think that those warnings should only pop up if you actually have somebody in the barn, because then that's when there's an issue. You shouldn't need an assignment if there's nobody occupying that position. Uh, this one here, that is damaged. Production building, again, nobody's in there. Assignment, assignment, assignment. I mean, I can, let's do this. Let's go in, nope, nope. Let's push all the wrong buttons. Let's go in here, let's do this, and let's give an assignment there. See, there's no worker, so now what? Now we're gonna have that. <laughs> Let's see if we can get rid of some of these uh, assignment issues. Uh, we'll just do that. Give it a 1%. So at least it's got an assignment. But man, it's probably going to give me a warning that there's nobody working there. But I need to make sure that some of the other things... Um, we'll just do one roasted meat. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So all of those have got a production. Good. Good. Farming. Let's open this up. Go to the assignments. Let's do 1% there. So if we ever put anybody in there, at least it's got an assignment. Okay, so no assignments there. Oh, they're missing tools. Uh, they're probably missing shovels. Because I only have them gathering the clay, I think. Yeah, no tool. Alright, let's get them some tools going. That way they can collect the clay. Uh, let's see. Let's grab... There was probably some logs in here. Let's grab some... Do I need sticks to make shovels? What do I need to make shovels? Just the logs. Wow. That just seems really material intensive. Two logs to make one shovel? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Let's make, uh, let's make a few shovels here. Make four shovels. That should keep them occupied for a little bit. I got five assignment issues there. Now, since I put assignments on the buildings, but there's nobody in them. Okay, that's just not doing right. Okay, uh, I personally don't need a shovel. Do that. They're going to take care of any of those. Okay, so that dropped down by one. So one of the... See, that's the problem, is 
you get those warnings. So now I'm I, now I'm having assignment issues because I don't have people in the buildings. Again, I don't think that I don't think I should have a warning if there's no, nobody occupying the building. Plain and simple. I think the warning should only be for if people are occupying the buildings. Okay, now we need. I did the rye. What's my inventory look like? Uh, let's grab a bucket of water. What are we looking at here? We got a bunch of stuff here. We don't have any meals, do we? Negatory on the meals. Okay, let's see about making something. 32 meat. Okay. I mean, they could eat that roasted meat, I guess. I got a bunch of stuff that's fixing to turn into rot. We got 153 clay. Fertilizer, firewood. You're trying to think of what I'm supposed to be looking for here. The, the um, bowls. Yeah, those. That's what I was looking for. All right, let's go make some meals. This, this, and this right here. Make 19 stew. There's no way to turn those warnings off, is there? I don't think there is. Let's see. Let's go into settings. Graphics? No, I don't think that's going to be at controls. No. Gameplay. Blood, head bob, camera shake, player breathing, auto save. No. Auto save on quest end. No. So no, there is no way to turn off. Customize game. Oh, that fast building option. I'll have to try that out sometime. Does it tell me what it does? Let's see. The center allows to enable instant, oh, instant module building. Oh, heck yeah, that's kind of cool. Consumes all of, all available carried building resources uh, for its particular module with one hammer hit. Well, that is definitely nice. Let's uh let's tick that on. We can use that. Uh, but as far as the little warnings, there's really no way to turn that off. Except changes. There we go. Good. We'll have to try that out. That'll come in real handy when we upgrade the uh the resource storage there. Alright, let's go put the food here. And the food storage slowly. Food, carrots, all this uh, stuff is going... Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Put the stew in there. Why do we not have any... Are there no buckets? Because I see that we only have like two buckets left. Are there no buckets at all? There's a few buckets. Do we need to up... The, what I'm trying to think of here, management building, the well. How much is he collecting? He's doing one bucket a day. What is our water? Got plenty of water on hand, 492. A bucket of water is 100, right? Yes. No, that's the bucket. I need the water. I need the water. Uh, let's see. Water. That's 25 per drink. 
and you get 10 drinks. That's 250 water per bucket. Is that right? Yes. If I'm doing math right, that is correct. So, we don't have enough water because they're not... Is there water content in that? No. no. But there is in the fruit which they're allowed to eat. But all of this fruit, all this 12.5% stuff is going to turn to rot next season. Which we're going to have a ton of rot. Probably going to need to go out and get meat since I just used all of our meat. <laughs> Onion. Uh, when do we plant onion? Because I think that might be what needs to go in the ground next. If onion goes in the ground in the spring, which it does, then that's what we need to plant. I need to plant a full crop of onion. So then next season, so summer, is going to be... Let me check here this okay so we will be able to use this roasted meat still because it will not deteriorate enough to where it'll turn to rot so that's good so we don't need meat next season we can take this seat that we can take today maybe or even uh, the next episode maybe and do a little hunting or buy meat or something like that but we've got uh what is that 64 Roasted meat, so that means that we can, as long as we get enough onion, we can make that many meals. Because uh, it's, uh, what is it, one roasted meat, and then I think it's three onion for uh, the meat, and, was it meat and gravy? Yeah, meat and gravy. Okay, let's go back into here. Food, everything is used. Did I put the meals in there? Good, there they are. There's the rot. We're fine on weight. I'm going to leave that rot in there for now because we have plenty of fertilizer. Uh, we've got our simple bags to sell. I needed to grab a bucket of water. That's what we needed to do, was the water thing. Let us up his production, which I thought... Wait, where am I going? Management. The well. He's only at 13%. Let's get that up to where he's at least producing maybe two a day. I'd almost rather him not have buckets to produce buckets of water than to have buckets and we run out of water. So <laughs> let's make sure that he's producing enough of that. Now, that being said, we only have two buckets. Three buckets. We have three buckets. I am going to grab... Oh, I have a bucket on me. Let's go fill that up. That'll be my bucket. Where'd it go? Inventory, bucket, put it in a slot. Here we go. I've got that uh, copper spear still on me, and I don't ever use it. But I'm not going to get rid of it, because it might be a fallback for me. Uh, let's make sure to equip all of those. I've got 18 logs on me that I don't need. Eventually, I'm going to go and see about getting this crossbow. Drop that. There we go. And I think we're going to drop our rye grain. And we have seven bowls. Let's drop those seven bowls in here. Right there. Nope. Cancel. I want to drop. No, I don't want to actually drop it. I want to place it. <laughs> I kept saying drop and I was hitting X like I was dropping it on the floor. That's why it wasn't transferring. And I'm struggling to keep my stamina up just because I want to run everywhere because I'm in a hurry. Let's drop the rye in here. Let's place the rye, not drop it. Place it. Uh, let's see, we've already got one bag and a simple bag that should be okay for right now. Uh, traps. That's what we're doing. I feel like there was a lot of stuff to do this morning already. Okay, let's collect this. 
We're going to make a new rat trap. Two new rat traps. I think we just need sticks for those. Which I should have a cluster of sticks like right behind me. And a new rabbit trap. All right, so we got a little bit of meat from that. Let's grab up a bunch of these sticks here so we can make some more of these traps. Come on. Pick, 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 pick. This is actually really nice just having these sticks literally right here. Okay, so we need to go into queue, tables, traps. We need a rabbit. Where's the front? Can't see the front. Let's see a little stick. There it is, right there. Couldn't see the front because of the grass. Okay. Let's go in. Furnitures, traps. We need two rat traps. One there, one there. Perfect. Okay, we got that done. Where's Miss Donkey at? So we can head over and sell this stuff. We can go straight over to Baranica, because I believe that's where we, or excuse me, Borowu, because that's where we got to go and talk to Ida to see about getting that crossbow for Dom. All righty, here we are coming into Borowu. Let's see about hopping off Miss Donkey here. Uh, do you have... No, she doesn't have anything in her inventory. Okay. Couldn't remember if I had logs still on her or not. Uh, let's see. Mr. How Philibor, how are you doing today, Trade sir? Trade is in my nature. That is awesome, sir. Uh, actually, we'll just get rid of that two fur right there. We got 28 feathers still on us. Oh, that was from the, the traps. Uh, where are the bolts? There. And the bags. There. So that gets us up to 5867. Not quite covering what our taxes were, but that's okay. Oh, well. It makes uh makes the blow a little easier to take. Now, uh, did I sell everything I wanted to sell? I don't think I did. I think I had like a beer bottle or something on me as well. Let's make sure well, that I'm yeah, selling everything I want. Otherwise, I'll nature. come across it later and go, Daggummit, I meant to sell that. Yeah, that beer. There we go. Almost wiped him out. 6,000 coins. Okay. We're, I think we're only about three or 400 off of Take where we care. were before I paid the taxes today. So that's really not too bad. Alrighty. Where is Miss Ida? Ida! I think you have something that we need. You again. Uh, this time I need Dom's crossbow from you. Oh no, not you again. I'm not playing with you anymore. <laughs> she didn't like the fact we won last time. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. No, forget it. How much for it then? Your coins won't be good this time as well. I need you to do something for me. I'm in a time of crit I am a time critical situation. It won't take long. Er Okay, what is it? I need you to get me get me some fish and they better be fresh. Uh, I don't have to I don't have to argue with you. I'll get your I'll get you damn fish. Okay. How many fish does she want? She wants 20 fish. Um Well, ideally we would get it from Dom, but he's clear across the map. I wonder if we can get fish From the kitchen vendor over in Gastovia? Because I don't have... I don't have fish. I don't have fish in my food storage. Because we haven't been doing any fishing, actually. I don't even have fish traps set up. However, I do see a bundle of goods right over here. Let's see what's in here. These little baskets left on the side of the road. Um, five coin? <laughs> okay. I'll take your five coin. Is this the only thing? This is all one bundle, right? Yeah. 
That's an awful lot of baskets for five coins. But whatever. It's probably why they left them on the side of the road. It's the change you find in the couch cushions. Alright. If we can't get fish from the kitchen lady here. What's her name? Adelina? Then we may have to take... We may have to take the uh, Wagoneer and go get fish back over in Jezreka. Only the best products here. Dried fish meat. Ten. She has ten freaking fish. <laughs> um, is there another kitchen person? Where would that be? Denica. There's another kitchen person in Denica. And there's no telling whether she's going to even have enough fish meat or not. Because we have to have just, right, regular fish meat. That's what they want, right? That's See it very well. Yes, fish meat. Not hey, cooked, friend. not salted, just My fish meat. My never disappoint. Okay, we are going to buy your tin fish meat. I have nothing to sell you. So, whatever, I guess. How much are your onions? Do you sell onion? Do, 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 do. No, you're not going to sell onion because it's not the season to sell onion. You have nine onion. Oh my gosh. Look at these meals. How much those meals cost to buy them? I mean, we could sell Season. meals, but I think they're kind of heavy. All right, let's uh, let's head over to Denica. That way I don't have to spend the money to go all the way to Jezreka. Mr. Wagoneer. Let's see here. Mr. Wagoneer. Nope. Nope. Back up. Back up. Why do you got to travel so far, honey? Hail, friend. Hail, friend. How are you? We need to go to Denica. 310 coins to go to Denica. Okay. We could go to Hornica for less. There's a kitchen person there. All right. Let's, um... Uh, Go to Hornica then. We'll do that. Save 10 coin. Turn around. All right, let's go find the kitchen person here. Let's see if they have some fish. Where, where, where? Is he in the kitchen? He is in the kitchen. Greetings. Greetings. Stranger. My wares. Never disappoint. Oh my gosh, he has 11. <laughs> you guys do not get a very good shipment of fish meat, do you? Except. Uh, farewell. See you soon. See you soon. Okay. Let's get back over here. Let's go grab this here. We'll just take the Wagoneer all the way back over to Borowu. Come on, let's get up. Right How there. How can I help you? I need a ride again. We're going to go back to Borowu. 600 and what? That's going to be 680 coins for the ride today. Man. We might have to bring some more people in so we can start up in production on stuff that we're making money with. Alrighty, let's go back down here. She's going around the building right here. Ida, Miss Ida, you're not sneaking off from giving us that stuff. Here's your fish. Uh, what happened to your manners? <laughs> that went where the sun doesn't shine. Give me the crossbow. <laughs> Here, finally. Bye. Wait, don't you want to know what I what I need all this fish for? Maybe another time. No, I don't. I don't. I don't give a damn what you want the fish for. I'm here for the crossbow. You wanted 20 fish. You didn't want to play a game. You didn't want money. <laughs> what do I care what you want the fish for? 
Alrighty, we got the crossbow for Dom. Now, uh, let's see. Do we... Let's... Do we want to just go ahead and take the crossbow to Dom? I think so. Might as well. Right, can we jump this? Jump! No? Okay. Let's go around this. Big wide turns. Alright. Yeah, see, the thing oh, is, man. as we're getting farther along in this Unigas story quest, we're going to be riding uh, the Wagoneer quite a bit. Uh, let's see, Jezrig of 510 coins. Okay, so we're basically spending most of what we made today. So yeah, I think that we might end up needing to look at bringing some more people in so we can uh, get more sticks get more feathers or look at making some other items we don't have a whole lot of straw and granted i could probably um put another um herbalist hut and have somebody uh gather no 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 wait wait change my mind back i need to be in dialogue i need to be on miss donkey when i do this can i reach you from here oh i can't can help good you? job and jezrika Let's go then. Okay. So I could probably bring somebody in, make another herbalist hut. I could probably start uh, putting people together. I mean, granted, that creates its own kind of an issue because then I bring more mouths to feed into the village. Where's Dom? He's going to be down here. As to where I've been trying to keep village stuff simple... You know, with just necessity buildings and things. Uh, Dom, here you are. Uh, let's see. Recognize this? Uh, my old crossbow. How did you get it? Uh, I've awoken my inner angler by running around and spending my money and buying fish from other people. Uh, I think I don't want to ask for the details. The only thing that matters is that it's back in my hands. Tell Castrell that I'm ready when she is. Will do. Perfect. Alrighty, so Castro's going to want 500 coins. We're going to need 20 dried meat. And we're going to need a water skin with water. Okay. So, I don't know that we have it. I know I have an, a water skin on me. Pretty sure I do. Yeah, I have a water skin on me. I don't know that I have an extra one in the storage. Let's check. Let's go to buildings. Close extraction. Go to storages. Go to food storage? No, it would be the resource storage. I would have put it in here so my people didn't drink it. And no. So the water skin I have on my person is the only water skin that we have. Oh, well, there's 10 wooden bolts that they're finally making. Because <laughs> I have their wooden bolt production turned down, so I get the skill for crafting. Okay, so... I'm wondering if maybe I should... No, i got to get crops in the ground. I was thinking maybe traveling home, but i got to get crops in the ground, otherwise we won't have onion for hey, next season. So I need another ride. Uh, what's going to be close and cheap? Gustovia looks like it's going to be probably the cheapest. Because Borowu's 515 or 510. All right, let's go to Gustovia then. I'll ride home from there and we can get crops in the ground. Uh, turn, turn, turn. And then I need to try and figure out. So once you do your, your Elwyn quest, you can see that the uh, the target stays here. So you can actually turn this area into your target practice area if you wanted to. It's always relatively safe. There's no animals down here that you have to worry about. And you can lay logs or sticks or markers. 
on the ground for your distances. That way you can always come back and stand at those markers and practice your shooting. Alrighty, here we are. Now I need to get fertilizer and get some of those onion seeds in the ground. So I need fertilizer. I need to make sure that I've got the hoe, the bags, which are both over there. There's the fertilizer right there. We've already got 100 feathers. Good. Uh, let's see, we need 30 of this. Perfect. Let's go grab the bags, then the hoe, and the onion seeds. Onion seed, hoe, we'll grab both of these bags, uh, go to inventory, we're going to put that bag in five, we're going to put the hoe in six, and let's go five. Fertilizer. All right, let me go through. Let me get this fertilizer in the ground. All righty, there we go. We got all our onion in the ground. So let's put away anything that we got left over here. The simple bag. My other bag broke. Uh, let's see the hoe. Put that in there. So we'll end up needing to make a few more bags, simple bags, and put in there. Completely lost my train of thought. I think I'm going to go up and chop down some trees. Dried meat. Oh, we have to have dried meat. I don't think we have any meat, actually. Yeah, we don't, we don't have any meat right now. We can check those traps. Did we get any traps? I know I need to... I, I've got like a dozen things going on in my head right now. Let's check the traps. Let's drink the water since I can see that I have none. There we go. Okay, so we do have some traps that need to be collected. That's good. Are they all tripped? It does. It looks like they're all tripped. Perfect. So that gave us 11 meat, 12 meat. But that one gave us 2 meat. Nice. 14 meat. 15 meat. Okay. Now we need to gather stuff so we can remake those traps. Stick, stick, stick. Probably gathered all the sticks from this little area here. Oop, there was one. And rocks. Do we see any rocks? Uh, there's one there. I think I need four rocks because I think both bird traps broke. Pick it up. No, that's a daisy. Stone. There we go. Sticks. And I think one more rock or stone. Okay, let's go back. Let's make these traps up. Q. Furniture, trap, spin that around, let's place the rabbit trap, go back in there, we're going to go trap, we're going to go bird, spin that around, drop that in there, oh that was it, that's all we had to make, these are all good, okay, didn't need to make as many traps as I thought I did, good, so we got the traps done, Go in here and drop off some of these materials. 54 feathers. How many feathers are we up to already? 154, because they had gathered 100 today. Uh, how many feathers... Let me see how many feathers they're grabbing in a day. Close that. Hunting Lodge. 101.76. And then we're grabbing 45 leather. I mean, that's not bad at all. 
And how about the woodshed? Now, I probably need to get another woodshed for sticks. Woodshed and a, and a hunting lodge would be good, I think. So we can up our production of the bolts. Because we can carry a whole lot more bolts, I believe, than we can the little small bags. They're gathering 86 sticks. Okay. That's not bad. The feathers are, are lacking because I've got them gathering feathers and leather. So, I mean, I could lower the production of leather. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. What is What are their levels? Uh, woodshed. Yeah, see, she's still only a level three. She's not going up that fast. And the hunting lodge. They are both a level four. Okay. Wow, the woodshed's really not going up that fast at all. Can I view her? What's her name? Rosalinda? Let's go find Rosalinda. Can I see? Yeah, she's barely, she's not even halfway through the extraction level. Interesting. She's the only one in there. She's the one doing all the work. But her extraction level is going up very slowly as to where the two hunters. Yeah, see, they're almost to level five already. Interesting. Do I not woodshed? I mean, she's at a at a hundred percent intensity. Interesting. Well, that kind of kind of sucks. <laughs> she's not um, that she's not leveling very fast. Okay, I've never really tested how much, how quickly they level under what they're doing. I mean, are they, are, because the hunters are actually using knives for hunting because they're gathering the le leather. Is that, I wonder if that is increasing uh, how fast they are gaining experience over uh, picking up feathers, which requires zero tools. Because sticks for the wood uh, cutter, sticks do not require a tool to gather sticks. But the logs do. But I only have her gathering just a few logs. Speaking of extraction levels. Good. Uh, let's see. What do we got real quick? Let's go into skills. Go to extraction. We got one point there. We got the three in mule. Slower stamina consumption during extraction skills. 10% faster mining and digging. Oh, so, okay. So that stacks, that'll go, that'll end up stacking up to three times for that. Huh. 10% slower stamina consumption during extraction activity. I think this one might be better. One with the earth. Slower pickaxe and shovel, careful miner, 15% chance to extract additional resources from deposits. Oh. That'll be good. Uh, let's see. Force of nature, durability axe, and treasure hunter clay pits. No, we're not doing that. Uh, let's see. What's that, level five? Let's go ahead and drop that extra point right here in the knowledge. That way maybe we'll actually gather experience ourselves a little quicker. 
All right, I'm going to have to think about what to do about that. Whether I want to bring in more people or and and do more materials for the uh, bolts, or do I want to do something else? So, like bring in somebody and do, um, say, straw gathering. You make straw hats or something to sell. I mean, how much is the straw hat? I do have one on me, right? Yeah. It's 130. I have a feeling that the straw hat only sells for like maybe $40, 40 coins. This is not what it would sell for. I do know that. I didn't realize that that value was going to be as high as it was. What does it make? What does it take to make the flat straw hat? Let's go here. Uh, production, I think it is. Let's go. No. Sewing hat. Uh, let's see. So this straw hat here. Let's see. That one's 120 coins. Yeah, but it, see, it takes linen fabric. So with a flat straw hat. Yeah, linen fabric. So I definitely don't want to be doing that. I don't want to waste my linen because I don't have a flax field going. I have to buy my linen. So, linen fabric, linen fabric, fur boots. Simple shoes. Okay, so fur boots is fur and leather. Shoes are leather. 12 leather. Holy cow. Sack. The regular bag. See, it takes linen fabric as well. The fur boots would be something to think about. Other than the fact that they're, we're gathering so much leather. I think in the amount of leather that they're using... I could probably craft enough bags to sell to probably make more money than what I would make on the first shoes, selling them. Because this is a base value. And when you go to vendor it, it's much less than this. Huh. Maybe I'll craft a pair of fur boots or fur shoes and then try and vendor them, see how much we get for them. But I... And compare it maybe to, this is eight leather. Maybe compare it to three bags, which would be nine leather. It would just be minus the fur. Yeah, we can, we'll see about doing that. I think I'll end up making more money with three bags over one pair of fur boots, fur shoes. We'll have to test that at some point. But anyway... I'm going to finish chopping up some logs. I know I've been sitting here rambling on trying to figure out how to make a little bit more money, but we're getting into a situation uh, to where we've got enough people in the village to where we are kind of needing more money, especially if we're having to travel around the map and use the Wagoneer more often. Uh, we definitely have to make up for those funds. Because I don't know that we've... I think I've had a max of 9,000 coins and to be perfectly honest, we wouldn't have had that many if the wife didn't give us 5,000 coins uh, that one particular season that she gave us a gift. Because that's that's the only reason that we, you know, made the money that we did. If we go into the inventory, because we're... Yeah, we'd be broke if we... You know, we'd be in the hole, what, almost 800 coins if we didn't have her 5,000 from a few seasons ago. I wouldn't have been able to actually take the the Wagoneer. So that's we gotta we gotta see about making some more dough. More moolah. But anyway, I think we're gonna call this an episode. If you folks are enjoying this, definitely hit that like button. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough. If you haven't subscribed, you considered it. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.